are the president of the San Francisco 49ers, a team name that I know how to pronounce, but your surname is one that I've got wrong before. How did I do that time? Wrong. <laughs> Guido. Al, Al, introduce yourself. <laughs> I'm Al Guido, president of the San Francisco 49ers and CEO of Elevate Sports Ventures. So we talked about Elevate Sports Ventures on the Leaders podcast a few months ago. Uh, a soft launch then. I think you're having a second launch uh, <laughs> coming up. Um, I think everyone knows what the 49ers are, but what is Elevate and why are you launching it again? We're not that well. Uh, we're adding partners is what I would say this time around. Uh, 90 days ago, we launched with uh, Harris Pulitzer Sports Entertainment, which is the parent company that's 76ers and New Jersey Devils, Crystal Palace and CAA. We're excited to announce that we have an official partnership with Oakview Group. Uh, OVG. I think you've had Tim Lywicki on. And so we're proud of our partnership with them. And we're also adding Live Nation Ticketmaster on the content space and the ticketing side. On top of our partnership, um, I'm here to announce today that we're going to be doing all the sales and marketing on behalf of Todd Lywicki and OVG Group on the NHL Seattle project. Mm -hmm. um, that's quite a powerful group that you've brought together there. What is the kind of scope of oper operation for Elevate? What, I mean, <laughs> what kind of business are you going to be looking to do? Everything and anything. Now, I, in, in fairness, I would say, I think what Oakview Group does, obviously extremely well in Tim's background. You know, he was doing the quote-unquote AEG work before it became AEG, and then he's a titan in this industry. I mean, launched a facility operations group, funded buildings, built them all around the world. There's no question his expertise is in that area. We thought we had a good sales and marketing expertise along with some other verticals. He obviously agreed with that. So now we're gonna be the official sales and marketer for all OVG properties, um, Seattle being the first that we're obviously announcing. So for us, we wanted to get outside of just the fee-based consulting model. Um, certainly there's a good world for that and there's great players, but what we liked about Tim and his group is that we're putting capital at risk we're in these buildings, we're operating them, we're not just there to sell them. We actually have boots on the ground, quote unquote, skin in the game, which we think differentiate us from every other agency out there. There's a huge opportunity in Seattle, obviously a new uh, expansion team there. Uh, great to bring a uh, major league team back to Seattle. Um, well, major league hockey back to Seattle. Um, what's the opportunity to innovate uh, with, a, with a venue there? What I love about that is Populous is doing a redesign of a historic venue. Key Arena, I mean, if you think about not just the sports team in there, but can you think about a market that's better known for music and live entertainment than Seattle? And to revitalize that area with Populous to take the historic footprint, I like it a little bit to what Madison Square Garden did a couple of years ago, kept the historic facade, but reimagined the live sports entertainment inside of it. That's what we get the opportunity to do today. And Populous, I think they're doing a great job thinking about the stadium of the future. What does it look like? How do we take down the physical walls, create a social experience that is not just good for today, but will be sustainable for years to come? Mm -hmm. um, there's also been some exciting news. Hey, we're in Leaders Week at the end of May. Some exciting news has come out uh, just this week. The 49ers have invested in Leeds United Soccer Club in the UK. Can you tell us why uh, and what's that for? We've had a long-standing relationship with Andrea at Leeds. Um, as most people know, you probably know better than us, they're a historic club, right? And they've fallen on difficult times, whether it be ownership or however. But the passion of that fan base still exists today. You know, they bought back the stadium. They've made some smart strategic plays. Uh, Andrea and our team have been working together on certain investments. It made sense to put strategic money into it. Um, Prague Marate, who is the president of 49ers Enterprises, which is a spin-off of the 49ers business, is gonna sit on the board. And so we just wanna share best practices. We know the sports aren't the same, mm -hmm. but how you build the fan experience and how you might think about building the soccer club or the football club, I should say, they're not all that different. So we think our expertise on our side, coupled with what he's been able to do, build in his world, um, was, was really beneficial to what we all want to go do together. To be a sports industry leader is quite hard work. You know, you're, you're, you've, you've got long hours, you travel a lot. Um, you're a sports industry leader 
at least two times over now. I think you're, you're, you're I don't know whether you are an NFL president who's moonlighting uh, <laughs> for, for a different, I mean, I don't know which round it is. How do you balance two kind of distinct jobs and maybe even a third now with Lee? I get to work with tremendous people. I think every business starts with the people that you work with. Obviously, I represent tremendous brands, but those brands are what they are today because great leaders ran those organizations. And I couldn't do Elevate by myself. I understand that that's my role and that's my title, but I need the Scott O'Neills of the world. I need the Tim Lightwickies of the world, the Michael Rapinos, the Jared Smiths, right? All of the people that are in and around Elevate make it go. I, mean, I get to put my name on it and get to sit down with you, but there's a number of people working behind the scenes to really make this thing, um, make this thing a reality. Al Guido, thank you very much.